Now, the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls, that is coming up. I have with me um, the Very Reverend Shelley Antinia, who is the Dean of the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, and Mr. Asa Hodge. We're going to talk about some of the work that you all are doing to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And um, the Very Reverend Shelley Antinia, we were talking about why do we say um, the Very Reverend and you were explaining that to me. So for people who don't know what it right. is, can you just shed some light on that quickly? So it's, it's the written title of the person who holds the position of the dean and rector um, of any cathedral, as a matter of fact. So once mm -hmm. you hear the words, the very reverend and the person's name, it designates that they are the dean of a cathedral. Ah. And this is anywhere in the world anyway, throughout I, the Anglican Communion. Oh, I, I did not know that, so thanks for clearing You're that. You're very welcome. So, United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls. There is a breakfast uh, a, and prayer session tomorrow morning. Yes, yeah. correct. So, that happening tomorrow morning at St. Mary's, St. Mary's Church in Takarewa, the church hall, mm -hmm. from 7.30 a.m. And it's a breakfast to raise awareness around this UN Day. It's a very important theme right now in our country, the increase in um, violence against women and girls. Mm -hmm. And well, what can we expect if we go to that? Um, lots of performances. Um, we have spoken words, singing, we have some dance even as well, and a feature address. And the feature address will be given um, by Her Excellency uh, Paula Pres May Weeks, President of the Republic, ORTT. And so she will give the feature address, and, and then we will end the proceedings thereafter with um, prayer and um, a closing prayer and, and intercessory prayer. And so anybody's invited to this it event? It is open to the public. It's $200 um, to be there. So breakfast begins at 7.30. Breakfast will run for about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, at 9, the breakfast will come to the, At least the breakfast station will close to facilitate the remainder of the activities. So, so why are we having this event? Yes, it's to talk about the elimination of violence against women and girls, mm -hmm. but why now? And why a breakfast meeting? So we're having it now because actually this UN Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls is the first day in the 16 days of activism um, for the elimination of violence against women and girls. And it is because the UN has designated the day and has, over the years, engaged in these 16 days of activism, mm -hmm. we found it an, uh, a wonderful opportunity to begin, but not to begin, to continue the conversation about how we eliminate gender-based violence and violence in general. Mm -hmm. um, and we're doing it because we're church. And as church, we, we gather for worship, we gather um, to share a meal. Those are two things that are important to our life together. Yeah. And so we thought there would be no better way of engaging a very important topic like this, but over a meal as we gather in the context of sharing a meal and worship, yeah. uh, because it's an important issue. Yeah, yeah and, and you have a, a young man here as well who is mm -hmm. taking part in this, trying to, to you know, you know va ending violence against women and girls. You need to get the meal figure to, to stand up and, and, and say something. Yes, you know, indeed. you can't take advantage of them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> So how, how, what are you going to do as a, a meal? Um, as a meal in advancing women and girls, it's just to help sensitize persons around the issue, help people to understand, okay, this is what you can do to help on um, this issue. Because I mean, people think, okay, I can't do anything, but there's simple things everyone can do to help around the issue. That's like knowing, okay, physical harassment laws, not telling people certain things. I mean, it's very simple things everyone can do. And, and, and you have to talk to your friends and let them know that this is right and this is wrong, this yes, is what indeed. you don't do. Because yeah, you were going to say something. I was going to say, <laughs> um, because you see, everybody has to get involved in the conversation. Yes. The persons who have had the privilege, the reason why there's an issue around violence against women and girls is that we've been in the context of a patriarchal society, not just here, but around the world in many places. And men have been dominant, and men have had the privilege. And I am not knocking men. I love them. I think they're fabulous. <laughs> I, they listen to me, hear me clearly. I'm not knocking them. Yes. But their privilege gives them an, a very important advantage that allows them allows their voice yeah. to make a kind of difference that no other voice can have. Agreed. Because when you've had the privilege, and when you've been in, in, in the front, then your voice can help change things around. And, um, just give me the contact number if people want to get more information. So you can contact the cathedral office, 6237271, or 
5596. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming in and talking with us. The Very Reverend Shelley Antinia, Dean of the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, and also Mr. Isa Hodge.